Creating a List Workflow in SharePoint 2016 brought to you by apps for rent Premium Application Hosting. Let's first understand what is a workflow in SharePoint. SharePoint workflows are pre-programmed mini applications that streamline and automate a wide variety of business processes. Workflows can range from collecting signatures, feedback or approvals for a plan or document to tracking the current status of a routine procedure. SharePoint workflows are designed to save you time and efforts and to bring consistency and efficiency to tasks that you perform on a regular basis. So let's get started. To begin with, open the SharePoint Designer 2016. The first step is to create a custom list. To do that, click on the item list as you can see here in the next step open the list on SharePoint Designer 2016 by clicking on workflow click on the list workflow select test new to select the list name you can see a pop-up for creating a list workflow enter workflow name as here then click OK you then need to select condition of workflow by clicking the condition tab in the ribbon and selecting conditions in the next step create logic as per your requirement by entering that in the space as shown here to end the workflow click on action and choose go to stage Next, click on Stage and select End of Workflow. You need to check for errors in your new workflow. Click on Check Errors and then click OK. Save your new workflow and then click Publish. You can see the pop-up as in here. Once that is done, you can see the workflow name in the list column. To run the workflow, click on List on the top ribbon and then click on Workflow Settings. Click on the new workflow created, select the appropriate option and then click OK. If you want to add a new item, do it here and the workflow will get a trigger for new item. Click on Stage 1 to check the status of the workflow. It says Status Completed. So your new list workflow in SharePoint 2016 is created. That's it. It's easy and simple.